The storm yes. is moving out, Jeff, but it left with a bang. Yeah, certainly, you guys. I was out uh, driving a little bit uh, today before work, getting some errands done, and actually saw some of that hail, uh, some of the spinouts it caused as well. So certainly, uh, real, real serious, serious earlier today when we had those thunderstorms moving through. But the bulk of that storm system is starting to push out. So let's go ahead and start it off in our Sky Camera Network here in a look over San Jose, where we did have uh, some numerous reports of hail, also some lightning, and even some of that hail pushing up towards Milpitas as well. And we've got. A little bit of shower activity off towards the distance. Currently 52, so very, very cold. You know what I'm talking about if you stepped outside for just a little bit today. We're back in the 40s as soon as 7 p.m. tonight. So here's the deal. The storm system that brought the cold air, that brought the rain, the lightning, and the hail, it's now starting to move towards the east. And I do think as we continue through tomorrow, it'll move more off towards the east, taking those rain chances with it. So let's get a look at Storm Ranger, our mobile Doppler radar, and you can see some hit and miss activity right now. Even some snow down there over Mount Hamilton. Snow level hovering between two to 3,000 feet. And there's that rain we just saw on our Sky Camera Network. It's continuing off towards the east, uh, towards uh, Evergreen and also uh, Alum Rock as we head into the next 20 minute time frame and then off to the north. Some rain over San Ramon. This is pushing off towards the east as well. It'll bring more of this wet weather towards Black Hawk into 539 tonight. And for the North Bay, we have some hit and miss shower right now over Napa. So where do we head from here? I think at 7 p.m. a lot of this is starting to wind down by 11 p.m. tonight. There's really not much left as we roll through tomorrow morning. We start off with some of those clouds, a little bit of sun trying to break through down there in the South Bay, and then by tomorrow afternoon we'll get that sunshine starting to return. So tomorrow morning you do not need the umbrella, but definitely take the jacket with you. We have 36 for the Tri Valley Peninsula 41 and for the South Bay starting off at 40 and more of that cold weather over the East Bay 38 and the North Bay 36 degrees. Daytime highs tomorrow warm up a couple of degrees, but look overall it's still going to be pretty chilly here. Lots of 50s throughout the Bay Area except for Napa, Martinez and Concord. You'll be in the low 60s. On my extended forecast, we are going to keep it dry as we head through tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. Then by Sunday we get a chance of some showers by the evening into very early Monday. Totals right now with that trace amounts to about a quarter of an inch, so not a strong storm by any means. And across the inland valleys, we go up to the mid 60s Friday and Saturday. And then with that shower chance Sunday afternoon into Monday morning, we'll see numbers drop back down into the 50s. So a wild day across the Bay Area, Raj and Janelle, but we can put this one behind us. <laughs> Uh, we got some rainfall, so much needed rainfall. And uh, at this point, there's no way we're going to be catching up for the rainfall season. Such a big deficit. We're down about uh, 8 to 16 inches across the Bay Area. It's a lot, but we can still maybe cross country ski on Mount Hamilton or Mount Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cold enough, certainly. Thanks so much, Jeff. If you Thanks, can get Jeff. us up there. <laughs>